night's unrest is linked to serious damage to stores and pharmacies, and a number of ATM explosions happened throughout the city. Today, some store owners are taking steps to prevent further damage. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Reed joins us now from the Spring Garden section of the city with that part of our team coverage. Alicia? Good evening, Yuki. A number of stores across the city have already started boarding up in anticipation of even more looting tonight. This after the civil unrest that transpired yesterday. Cash registers strewn across the parking lot, shattered glass from a possible entry and exit route, and debris left behind. My God, my God, my God. What is this world coming to, Lord? Patients showed up to their West Philly Market Street Rite Aid only to find doors shuttered and no idea where or how to pick up their prescriptions. So I was wondering why. I didn't know until we got here that they were closed. Pharmacies at a number of Rite Aid stores were hit, and nearly a dozen CVS stores robbed. With varying degrees of damage, some remain closed as crews work to repair the damage. It's not going to get better, you know. It's going to get worse. It's very, very sad, and I don't like that at all. It makes me very, very not angry, but. Disappointed. In addition to stolen prescription drugs, there were explosions across the city where ATMs were being robbed. The device at the BB&T Bank in Chestnut Hill was repaired today after that blast. And Philly staple Del Sandro Stakes was back in business today with a broken window next to the ATM that was targeted. Mayor Jim Kenney says the city will not tolerate vandalism or looting. We will continue to, to staff and man our business strips, our strip malls, uh, and our downtown, uh, and, the, and the stores in the neighborhood. In the meantime, stores are preparing for the worst. They already were anxious about the elections um, prior to this week and in the incident that took place, so um, we are encouraging to be prepared. In a number, in addition to this target, a number of stores across the city are doing just that. Not only are they boarding up, they're also closing early. Reporting live from Spring Garden, Alicia Reed, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Alicia, thank you.